Okay, good evening. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for coming to this momentous occasion for the Loveland Police Department. On behalf of the Police Department and the City of Loveland, thank you so much for your support and for being here to swear in our new chief, Tim Duran. I am Lori Scott. I am one of the assistant chiefs here for the City of Loveland. And I would, uh, first of all, uh, like to introduce Bethany Pinella who is going to be singing our national anthem, and during which I'm going to ask everybody to stand for the posting of the colors. You will stand through the posting of the colors and through the invocation, and then I'll tell you guys you can take a seat. So if everybody would please stand for the posting of the colors. Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof. I would now like to introduce our Loveland Police Department Chaplain, Larry Godfrinson, for the invocation. We pray. Our good and gracious God, your power and wisdom establish governments so people might live ordered and peaceful lives with liberty and justice for all and the assurance of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 
So we pray for Timothy Duran as he becomes the chief police, Loveland, Colorado Police Department. His education and experience have well prepared him for this position. We pray that you would grant him the wisdom, integrity, courage, compassion, and whatever else is needed to be an outstanding chief of police leading the department into a new chapter of service to this community. The family of a police officer makes sacrifices so that officer may serve. That's probably even more true for the family of a police chief. We pray also for Chief Duran's family as they make sacrifices in support of his new position, uphold them, and provide them with your grace. We pray for the women and men of the Loveland Police Department. Lord, keep them safe as they go about serving the community. Reward their service with your blessing. And finally, we pray for the city of Loveland, the leaders and citizens. Grant them peace and prosperity into the new year. Amen. And lest we forget, will you please join me in a moment of silence to honor the 228 officers who died in the line of duty during the past year? Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Chaplain, for a wonderful prayer. And if you all don't mind, I would really love to give a big round of applause for our Loveland Police High School senior, Bethany Pinella, for that wonderful national anthem. And at this time, I would like to introduce City Manager Steve Adams. Hello, everybody. Uh, a lot of attendance today. I, I appreciate everybody coming and taking the time today to be here. I would uh, like to thank you first for coming. This is a monumental event for our community and city and our police department. Uh, I would like to first start out by introducing some of the dignitaries and visitors we have today from elected officials and other leaders who have also agreed to join us today. Uh, in the first row here on the left side is our city council, and I will just read off all of the names of the city council, but we're here and some were not able to attend. Our mayor, Jackie Marsh, Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Don Overcash, uh, councilors Patrick McFall, Rich Ball. Dana Foley, Andrea Sampson, John Fogel, Steve Olson, and John Mallow. Next, we had the Larimer County uh, Commissioners, and we had Kristen Stevens, I saw her there, and also we had uh, also uh, Jody Shattuck McNally, who was scheduled to attend today. We had the District Attorney here today, which we appreciate, Gordon McLaughlin and his staff, thank you. Also, the Police Citizen Advisory Board Chair, Pat Kissler, and his team uh, of members of that uh, Loveland Police Citizen Advisory Board. We also had, uh, it's my honor here to recognize others that have come from neighboring areas. And we start off today with the city of Fort Collins and Chief Jeff Svoboda and his executive team and other members, including my new chief. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief. <laughs> Uh, we also had Larimer County Sheriff Department, uh, Justin Smith, and under Sheriff Tim Keaton, and also uh, Sheriff-elect John Fahan. I think they were here too as well. We had Greeley Police Chief uh, Adam Turk, who was here joining us, Colorado State Patrol, uh, Colorado State University Police Chief Jim Jay Callan, Estes Park Police Chief Dave Hayes, Windsor Police Department is joining us today with their representatives. Uh, Amy Luce from the FBI director in Denver, the Loveland Fire and Rescue Chief, uh, Tim Sindelbach. We also had the Thompson Valley EMS Chief, James Robinson, and Bart Triple from Colorado State Patrol. And if there's others here who have joined us today, thank you, all you dignitaries, for being here today, and we appreciate you sharing this event with us. Also, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the executive leadership team from the city of Loveland and our senior police uh, officials who are here, including our deputy uh, city 
Chief Eric Stewart, uh, Assistant Chief Lori Scott, you've met Assistant Chief Ray Butler here as well, and Lieutenant Spurson, Her, Murphy, Schaefer, Pyle. So thank you all for your coming as well today. The other thing I wanted to do is personally thank uh, our Deputy Chief, who has been Interim Chief uh, Eric Stewart. He has provided service to us and guidance and leadership to our community for that time period as our department uh, went through the process with the city of selecting a new chief, uh, permanent selection, and he was there to keep things moving and, and providing that guidance and vision for us in this term, and we appreciate that, as well as all of the members of the police department who are here and continue to serve day to day service to our community and to our residences as we move forward in this process. And so, Eric, I want to thank you and thank you to all of the officers and men and women who served and helped us during this process. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, an introduction today for Tim Duran. We uh, found him through a very competitive process, and today we are going to do a traditional process calling a pinning ceremony where he's actually pinned as the police chief. I was going to ask him if he was going to do that in the blood way or the regular way, but we'll find out here shortly which way it's going to be. Um, chief Duran emerged from a very competitive process that we did, uh, vetting a number of applicants and candidates that were very qualified. And we had in this area of Embassy Sweden opportunity for the community to meet uh, four of those candidates. Tim's background and leadership experience and skills stand out. He's ideally situated to be at the right place and at the right time to help our department evolve into the next uh, century of policing. Like any best in class organization, which I believe we've had all along in our police department, uh, the Loveland Police Department is continually improving. They're looking for ways to move forward and the time of dynamic change is upon us. The city of Loveland and our police department are committed to keeping our community safe and a place where everybody feels A hallmark of Tim's leadership will be the building and maintaining of those relationships with the sworn professional staff and also with our city staff, other community members and stakeholders as he moves forward in his journey. Tim has said that he is eager to write the department's next chapter. And he is here to learn from the past He's here to address the present needs, and he is here to build a stronger future and a future that has accountability and transparency on it. And I appreciate that about him and his comments. For those of you that don't know him very well, he's had a record of service of over 30 years. He started out and part of his year career for over two decades. And the Federal Bureau of Investigation he was at, he left as an assistant special agent with over 175 staff and agents reporting to him. He also served in the White House as a national and also with the Washington DC task force on violent crime and joint terrorism. In all of those things he then came and served with the city of Fort Collins executive leadership position as their assistant chief in the city of Fort Collins Police Department. So Tim we are all very much welcoming you to be here in our community at this time with our city, uh, with our council, and with our staff, and being selected for this very critical issue at this time. So at this time, uh, I would like to ask Tim and his wife Susan to come up here and to do the pinning ceremony, uh, which will be right up here. So please, both of you, come on up.
I didn't see any blood, so that just lets you know it was safely done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, at this time, I would like to call onto the stage uh, Judge Jerry Johnson uh, to help administer the oath of office. Would you please raise your right hand? I, Timothy Duran. I, Timothy Duran. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly to support the Constitution of the United States. To support the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the State of Colorado. The Constitution of the State of Colorado. The laws of the State of Colorado. The laws of the State of Colorado. The Charter and the Ordinances of the City of Loveland. The Charter and Ordinance of the City of Loveland. And I will faithfully perform the duties of the Chief of Police faithfully perform the duties of the chief of police for the city of Loveland for the city of Loveland for which I am about to enter for which I am about to enter to the best of my ability to the best of my abilities So uh, at this time, it's my pleasure and honor to present to you the Chief of Police for the City of Loveland, Tim Duran. Well, I'm a little in awe at the number of people that actually showed up to this event, and uh, I couldn't be more honored to be here. Uh, when I left the city of Fort Collins, I uh, threw a party, and I offered to buy the first beer for everyone to show up. I'm glad you guys didn't get the invite, because... <laughs> well, there are two times that a badge is presented to an officer, when he or she graduates the police academy, and then when he or she gets promoted. And both are very exciting times. I cannot tell you uh, how excited I am to be here. Accompanying this oath and this is a pledge to, uh, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and to serve the community. This first happened for me over 38 years ago on July 2nd, 1984. And in that vein, I am thankful Loveland is a community of deep standing traditions, which are kept alive from generation to generation. If you didn't notice, uh, former Loveland Chief of Police, Luke Hecker, uh, handed the badge uh, that I'm wearing today to my, to my bride. And I'd like to honor the 30 years that he gave the city of uh, Loveland. And I can't promise that I'll be here 30 years from today, but <laughs> I'm a good try. <laughs> So a badging ceremony is also a way to honor those who serve. So specifically, I'd like to thank the men and women of the dispatch center who literally answer the call every day. And they attempt to bring help and comfort to those citizens who are often experiencing their worst day. I'd like to thank the patrol officers who never know what surprise awaits them around every dark corner. I'd like to thank the detectives who have an unrelenting caseload and they never stop seeking truth. I'd like to thank the entire professional staff team who processes reports, collects evidence, and keep everything running so smoothly. I'd like to thank the spouses family and significant and others of everyone I've mentioned because they try to repair their mates each night after a long shift of shouldering other people's burdens. 
and then to get them out the door the next day to do it all over again. And I'd like to thank the community for trusting us to arrive in their time of need. I have a confession that I love. So if there are any teachers in the room or watching online, I'm fearfully recorded, you can inwardly cheer with the remembrance that the buck stops here. This was a phrase coined by Harry S. Truman, and he had it on his desk in the Oval Office. The phrase refers to the notion that the president has the ultimate responsibility for all of his or her decisions. And I fully accept, as your new chief of police, the buck stops with me. I have no fear the Loveland Police Department will serve you honorably. We will make mistakes. And when we do, we will hold ourselves to a higher standard. And we will continue to learn and get better each day. Simply stated, our North Star is excellence, not error avoidance. As a fellow Larimer County resident, I am no stranger to the challenges LPD has experienced in recent years. However, because I'm coming from an outside police department, I do not have yet a full, nuanced grasp of what needs to change. But I assure you, change is coming. I would ask for your grace and patience as I take time to determine exactly what that will be. And before I can initiate any meaningful action, first I need to listen. Loveland, I will be seeking your input, and I truly look forward to your ideas. I so appreciate the thoughts and ideas that have already started flowing in from both within the department and the citizens of Loveland. In the interim, allow me to reaffirm LPD's commitment to the highest level of professionalism and community policing. You can depend that we will serve you with respect, transparency, and accountability. I know I have yet to gain your trust, which is only built through consistent action and open communication. I hope to prove over time the Loveland Police Department, your team, is one you can be proud of. Before I finish, there are several groups here today for which I'd like to recognize. Let's start with our color guard. If you hadn't noticed, they are comprised of both members of Loveland Police Department and Fort Collins Police Services. This is a symbol of how intertwined our two departments will be and a nod to my former team. <laughs> and my former team did their best to teach me and illustrate excellence in policing. I'd like to thank Miss Bethany Pinella for her beautiful rendition of our national anthem if I only had her talent. I'd like to thank the members of the community and Loveland City leadership for their attendance today and their support in the many years to come. There are so many coworkers and mentors I could individually thank, but out of concern I'd leave someone out. Allow me to simply bookend this list by mentioning two. I'd like to thank my former field training officer, retired First Sergeant Larry Hahn, for helping me start in this profession. And to Police Chief Jeff Swoboda for demonstrating how an excellent Chief of Police lives his values. There are many members of my family who could not attend, such as my 91-year-old mother in Cleveland, two of my oldest children who are home on the couch with the stomach flu, my son who is an aviation troop commander in the 82nd Airborne, my daughter who is a nurse on the heart transplant floor of the Mayo Clinic, 
where they are perpetually short-staffed, just like we are, and my future son-in-law who sits on the border of Ukraine with his unit of the 101st Airborne Division. I pray all of our service members return home safe, safely. And of course, my wife. I'll end with this. One of my mentors wisely stated that all he expected of me was this, to seek justice, to love a kindness, and to walk humbly. That is exactly what I expect of our department. I'll now turn the podium back over to city manager, Steve Adams. Thank you again for coming. <laughs> I hate to follow that, so all I have to do now is tell you that I appreciate your attendance today at our event, and also to tell you where the snacks are, which are over here, and the drinks that are in the back there, and to wish you a very safe uh, journey home wherever you came from, and uh, thank you for participating with us today in this very phenomenal and exciting event for our city going forward. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.